before we get into the video, I just want to start by saying I will be speaking at an event on January 23rd at 4 p.m. PST. It's called the Be Your Own Guru Manifesting Summit, and it is going from January 21st to 28th. And yes, I will be speaking on the 23rd, and I'll link the information for that down below. channel I talk about manifestation, conscious creation, and the law of assumption. If you're into those topics, please click the like button down below and let's get right into the video. Today's video is going to be about persistence and I'm going to tell a story about Neville Goddard. So it's talked about in the law of assumption community a lot that you must persist in the assumption until it hardens into fact. And it's a simple premise, but it, it I feel like it's overlooked. It's overlooked a lot. So I'll, I'll get a message or I'll get multiple messages on Instagram of people being like, I've been affirming for X amount of time. And now this thing showed up in my reality that is the complete opposite of what I'm affirming. And I don't get it. I've been affirming and like, why is this happening? Help, what do I do? Okay, <laughs> so persistence. <laughs> it really takes discipline to live fully in your imagination and doing your best along the way to kind of ignore distractions or old story that's going to come up and test you. The answer is always to persist. Something comes up you don't like, what do I want? What's my what's my end goal and what's my new story? You should have already written your new story and formulated that. You've got a, a scene that you're visualizing or you've got an affirmation that you're sticking to. You've got your end goal. You need to be persisting in that no matter what comes up. So I'm sure that by now you're familiar with Neville Goddard. If not, he not a lot today, but um, he has many books and lectures that are about law of assumption. He's, um, I highly recommend listening to his lectures on YouTube. They're free and his complete reader uh, books. They're really good. But anyways, so in the lecture, God's Law and His Promise, Neville's lecture on YouTube, he talks about a time in his life in 1933 where he was a dancer and he had no money. And he was being taught by this man called Abdullah. Abdullah was the man who taught Neville Goddard about the law. And Neville wanted to go back to Barbados where he's from. He was in New York City at the time and he wanted to go back to Barbados. So he was saying in 1933, there were no commercial flights at that time. So he's like telling Abdullah like, I'd really like to go to Barbados, but I don't know how I'm gonna get there. And Abdullah goes, you're in Barbados. And Neville's like, what do you mean? I'm in New York, New York City, I don't understand. He's like, you are now in Barbados. And Neville says, Abdullah taught him that if I want something, I must as automatically assume that I already have it. And Neville's like, what do you mean? Like, I'm looking around, I see New York City. How, how can you say that I'm that I'm in Barbados when I'm in New York City. And Abdullah goes, you are already in Barbados. And he slams the door in his face. A little bit of tough love. Apparently that's the way he taught. So he just said, you're in Barbados. Like get it through your thick skull, Neville, you're in Barbados. <laughs> he didn't say that, but he said, you're already in Barbados. And so, Please excuse me. <laughs> so I was filming and I got cut off because my phone ran out of space and I didn't realize it because I was filming from the back camera and I was talking for like 15 minutes and then uh, I went to go edit and it only recorded four minutes of my video and stopped. And I was like, this is so frustrating. And I made an Instagram story about it and I was like, oh, like it, 
didn't, you know, capture everything I was filming and now I have to film it again. So here we go. I'm going to film it again. So I made this Instagram story about it. And, you know, I deleted a few things off my phone and I, you know, hours went by because I needed to eat food and I edited a whole separate video and, you know, I had to fix, so if I look different, I had to fix my hair and makeup, whatever. And I filmed it again, talking for 10, 15 minutes. And I look at my phone and it says my storage is full and it only recorded 50 seconds of my second take. So this is the third time I am filming the rest of this video. Uh, I deleted a lot of my apps and a lot of videos and made sure that I have tons of space and I flipped my phone around and I am I'm filming with the front camera so that I can see if it stops. <laughs> so this is the this is the third time I'm filming this so just I'm gonna try to make it natural and we're gonna try to get this done here so just bear with me and it was just a funny example of like how your thoughts create because had I just not dwelled on the fact that it met that it cut me off and just you know ignored the 3d and persisted in everything working out fine uh I wouldn't be filming this for the third time <laughs> I'm quite certain so anywho let's get right back into the story I was telling about Neville, Neville Goddard and Abdullah teaching him this lesson about persisting in the end. <laughs> so Neville had no money, no way, no idea of how he was going to get to Barbados. He just wanted to get to Barbados. He's in New York City. He wants to get back to Barbados where his family is. Abdullah was teaching him how to ignore the 3D and live fully in his imagination, right? And he's doing this by telling him, you're already in Barbados. And, you know, kind of giving him some tough love by saying, you know, you're in Barbados, like nothing else matters. You're in Barbados, ignore the rest. So what happens next in the story, <laughs> this is my third time saying this, let's just. Neville's brother sends him a letter in the mail with $50. And the letter says, here's this $50 for a ticket to the ship where you can take take the ship to Barbados. So Neville takes this $50 to the steamship station and they say, okay, we have limited space, but we do have uh, this one ticket where you can take economy class part, part of the way and then first class the rest of the way to Barbados. So Neville goes to Abdullah and he says, it worked. I got, uh, He's got the money, he's got the ticket to Barbados. He's like, it worked. I got partway economy, partway first class, but it worked, we're going to Barbados. And Abdullah goes, who's talking of going to Barbados? You're in Barbados and you went first class. And he turns his back on him. Uh, so Neville Goddard persists more under, you know, Abdullah's teachings. And the ship company contacts Neville uh, sometime later and they say we have some good news for you there's been a cancellation and now you can go first class the entire way to Barbados so Neville got what he wanted in the end by persisting in that assumption that he was already in Barbados and he went first class so what Neville says that he learned in this situation from Abdullah is that your human imagination is God and you are the temple of the living God so regardless of how you feel about the word God, your human imagination is the creator of all. So if you hold a vision for long enough and you persist in that assumption, it will harden into fact. Test it for yourself. It's just all about persistence. If you have the will to persist and ignore anything that comes up and not accept anything less, that's the thing. Neville was like, oh, great. Like I got my ticket. I'm, I don't care. I got part economy, part first class, but that's fine. We're, we're going to Barbados. Like it worked. And Abdullah's like, no, and you can get your, you can have whatever you want. You can do be or have whatever you want. So, you know, go big or go home. You can have 
the full manifestation. Don't settle for anything less. Don't settle for birds. Don't settle, settle for piddly, half-assed manifestations. Go right to the end and persist in that full you know, end until you get what you want because it will happen. Another thing that I wanted to mention about Neville Goddard, and this is just kind of like something silly that kind of occurred to me, uh, is that Neville Goddard is an Aquarius as well. And it was just funny because I once saw one of my horoscopes and it said that Aquarius has a God complex, which is just, it's just a joke. It's just funny. Like being God of your reality, it doesn't mean that you're above anybody else. It like, there's a fine line between putting yourself on a pedestal, for example, you know, building up your self-concept with self-concept affirmations where like you're the prize and you're, you're on the pedestal and like really having confidence in yourself and, you know, believing the best in yourself and building yourself up in that way. Fine line between that and, you know, God complex, like it's just a joke. It's just funny because he's, he's an Aquarius as well, but it's not an ego thing and it's not about being better than anyone else. It's about knowing that everyone is God. I'm not, I'm not special. Sometimes like my friends, I'll tell them about my manifestation. They're like, oh wow, like you're a witch. And it's like, okay, but you know, everybody has that power. It's not just me. That power is in you as well. So if you choose to, you can access it at any point. And <laughs> your imagination is a, is a creator. So you know, tap into that power and use it for yourself. It's not, nobody else has anything special. It's not, I'm not special. <laughs> you can access that power for yourself. And yeah, just have some trust um, that you're a creator as well. And you can do this just as much as anybody else can. So yeah, it's not about being above anybody else. Uh, it's not about like having a God complex. It's not about like an ego thing. Like I'm better like one person's better than another no like we're all connected and we're all we all have that god within us and we're all the creator of our own reality so just wanted to add that in and then i am going to read another excerpt of a different one of neville's lectures called the divine vision you formulate in your mind's eye the one you would like to be and then having formed it if perchance tomorrow you wander don't waste one precious moment condemning yourself Forgive, forgive, forgive. And forgiveness means testing one's ability to enter into and partake of the nature of the opposite. So you find yourself in this state which is wandering away. Go back to that state that you have chosen. Go back how often? 70 times seven, as often as it takes to keep the vision fixed so that the mold will always be before the depths of your own being. But don't condemn yourself when you depart from it. Don't condemn no one leave them alone. So I like this excerpt because of a few things. So one, he's talking about forgiveness, which I really like. I made a video about it. My uh, two videos ago was about forgiveness and what to do after reacting to the 3D. So <clears throat> he's talking about the state of the wish fulfilled. So when you're persisting in uh, the version of yourself who already has what you want, right? So you're persisting in your desired end as if you're walking through your life as if you already have what you want. And he's talking about, you know, coming back to that state as much as possible. You might have a human moment where you kind of forget like, whoa, I forgot. I'm like, I forgot who I truly am and who you truly are is God of your reality and a creator. So sometimes we stray from that and we forget. And that's what he's talking about here where you'll like get triggered by something in the 3D and kind of forget who you are and he's saying bring yourself back to that state as many times as it takes and you just keep on persisting in that state until it hardens into fact and you don't he's talking about forgiveness because you don't beat yourself up for straying from that state you just keep on bringing yourself back to the state you skip all of the you know guilt or um you don't you know beat yourself up about having a human moment and not being able to stick in the state 24 7 you're gonna move through different states we're here having a human experience so yeah i like what he says about forgiveness because if you're holding any type of negative feeling towards yourself or towards anybody else it's holding you back it's like that saying where it's like hating somebody else is like drinking poison and expecting the other person to die so whether you're holding negative 
feelings about a, a situation, a person, somebody else or yourself. Everyone is you pushed out, everyone and everything is you pushed out. So any, you know, not good thoughts or not good feelings that you're holding against anyone, it's only hurting you because nothing is outside of you. So forgiveness is always the answer. If you're, you know, feeling hurt about something, you know, that Ho'oponopono prayer uh, I talked about in my my forgiveness and reacting to the 3D video is really helpful. And I do like how Nimble's talking about forgiveness because it's just a, a, a virtuous thing to do. Just, you know, forgive no matter what happened because you're only hurting yourself if you're gonna hold on to negative, you know, feelings. And then how he says, how often do I go back? As many times as it takes, that's the persistence. That's what this video is about. You have to persist in the assumption, regardless of what comes up. You're gonna see things that, you know, sometimes things will come up that you don't like and it's like, well, you, you just don't allow yourself to just get distracted from your end, your, your, your desired end. Like you, you form that, formulate in your mind's eye the one you would like to be. Who are you as the person who already has what you want? How would you be walking through life? How would you act? How would you be treating others? You know, how would you be thinking? What thoughts would you be thinking if you already had what you wanted? And that's the key. So just persist in that assumption until it hardens into fact. You know, just keep bringing yourself back to what's my end? What's my end? Something comes up, I don't, something you don't like, like the answer is always to persist in the end. And I think that is all I have for this video. <laughs> I uh, This is the third time I'm filming it and I'm, I'm getting a little bit, you know, don't wanna hear myself talk anymore. <laughs> so hopefully you got value from this video even though uh, I'm a little bit exasperated, you know? But yeah, I thank you so much for being here. If you like this video, please click the thumbs up down below and hit subscribe. And I will see you in my next video. Good night. <laughs>